tonight and Kerry joins us. A hard down of the Melbourne midfield, but tonight we'll see his gentle side when Brock McLean drops in for a chat. And Magpie tries for it, cuts a deal with an Essendon superstar. Class, lots, lots more. We will cross to Amy Stadium for the massive game later on tonight between Adelaide and Collingwood. What a blockbuster that looks likely to be. Tools, Panthers, and much, much more. It is a genuinely great day to be alive. Carlton has won a game of footy. Welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Brock McLean is going to be glad about you voting like that, uh, Andy. But of course, the big news story of the week in football circles Chris Tarrant and uh, Ben Johnson involved uh, in some kind of incident. Nobody really knows exactly what happened, but uh, they're playing tonight, uh, which should be great. Apparently, bystanders knew the incident was over when Joppa put on the gold jacket. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit of comment that will punish them. They have been made to stay in Adelaide an extra two days up to tonight. So, uh, easy, easy. Them, they? You know, they weren't out late. They were just really early for their recovery yeah. swing. <laughs> <right. laughs> I don't blame them. I blame the other 42 players on the list who weren't there. <laughs> Team, they should be all together. I blame the guy who actually did the motivational speak, uh, talk early in the week. Yeah. Let's just say, check out who they actually got to do the motivational. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're asking, you're asking for trouble. Yeah, I think it's a minor miracle. Is it two AFL footballers have left a nightclub and not picked up? <laughs> Friends and I think so. Good luck to them. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Mouldhouse has been very supportive. He's come out in defence of the guys. In fact, I think he's missed his calling as a, as a defence lawyer because he had a very uh, simple, logical explanation as to why we shouldn't harass Taz and Jono. You know, so if they had called Jack the Ripper and give him a spanking, would he, would he spare his next? Uh, you know, I would support, be surprised. I'd be very surprised. And we are dealing with different types here. So it's, I, I, you know, neither of them have been involved in the Lebanese war. They were not in the car with Mel Gibson. And they weren't responsible for the rate charge. I'm just making a list of Scotland Yard. Uh, Taz, Jono did not Jack the Ripper, okay. Uh, Jack the Ripper, so I mean, he, Jack the Ripper is a serial killer. Uh, Mix thinks if they had a court Jack the Ripper, they should have given him a spanky. <laughs> interesting things Mick Moulthard said during the week was that if there'd been fringe players he actually might have issued a, a game suspension. So mm. different strokes for different folks which so I don't know. So if you have a night out be good players. Which no, exactly. Like, I don't know what kind of um, precedent that says. You know, nobody knows exactly really what happened. There's no charges being laid. Uh, it seems an extraordinary. Uh, the media coverage has been amazing. There is obviously a war going on, and uh, the front page, three pages dedicated to it. There are some. It's not the war off uh, the front page, and that is, that's news. I mean, it's, it's, it's too much. Yeah, I mean, these people in Lebanon are caring what you know, Taz and John are doing. Well, funny, I actually was in Beirut during the week. Just <laughs> <laughs> quite a couple of days away from home, and yeah, yeah. Uh, got the local Lebanon newspaper. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was I thinking? <laughs> 